I know. I thought I was fit. Welcome back, Van Lifers. Uh, Sunday. We just walked up that hill. It's not deep. Well, we kind of ran up it, really. That's why we're a bit breathless. And at the top of that hill is a fort. And uh, we do love a fort, but I don't think we're going up there today. But we are going to have a look at a little look. A little look where are we, anyway? Aliasur. Very good. Rolls off the tongue. Um, there's our church. It's very nice. We're going to have a little wander around. We're going to have, definitely have a coffee. And we'll see what happens. Cake. And maybe a bit of cake. She forced me to have cake. Uh, <laughs> you'll have more tonight. Yeah, switch it on. Just, just as it finishes, switch it on. Bell ringers on ecstasy, you know. <laughs> Look at this. It almost looks too good to eat, but be a shame not to. So, a couple of coffees to go with it. Everyone's a winner. investigates so uh, we thought we'd um, well our daughter in fairness Anna Hale she sent us to have a look at this well, it's called Arafana I can actually pronounce that which is amazing yeah. look at that isn't it stunning look at surf Ooh. no one out obviously yeah what a place we're going to go and have a deeper inspection. Are we going to walk down there? That's a long way down. We'll definitely be puffing on the way back, I can tell you. But we need to get the steps in, so we have no choice but to get down there and get in amongst it. 
Are you ready, Mrs. Ale? Yeah. Let's do this. Me and Mrs. Ale got a little bet. <coughs> I think there's a surf shop down the bottom of the hill. Mrs. Ale says not. There's a surf shop there. Or surf rental. So if you wanted to surf, and who wouldn't have a surf down there? You'd borrow hire a board from there or walk down the hill. Only one person can be right. And the loser has to buy coffee and cake. Hey! You're going swimming out there? Yeah, Fucking nuts. There's somebody going in now. Yeah, right. Well, we'll watch them drown. Well, at least I can record it. There's two people going in. Yeah, yeah. Right. I just said to my wife, you think you can imagine bringing the beast down here? I mean, it's steep as fuck. Stop throwing it to beat that one out. Water camp. So quick update, there is surf hire halfway. Is this if there's surf hire down the bottom, I'll have to update it. Miss that. I thought I was going to record something getting washed away, but no, it still might get washed away. No one out fishing today. To be honest, I can't believe it. You wouldn't want to go, go out through that lot, would you? That's a bloody, lovely area. Just, uh... Right, van lifers, I lost my bet. There was no surf higher at the bottom of the eel. This is A01. Mr. Hale is looking after me for today. <laughs> Cleaning, washing, ironing. I do that already. <laughs> See, oh. we'll be kicked out. We could record someone dying. Some stupid people going crazy. Oh, you saw that woman feeling. Mind you, if she gets in trouble, I think I might go and help her. I don't think so. Anyway, enough of that. I'll get in trouble. Six, six, three, four. Look at that peeling off. Ooh. I do love the use of English <laughs> abroad. Don't park in this area, that's fine. Parking here will cause serious traffic problems, I understand that. The vehicle could be booted and removed. Booted? What, are you going to give it a good kicking or what? Um, removed, I understand that. Anyway, just a little thing. So uh, one of the phenomenons, phenomenons, something that happens in Spain, in um, Portugal, I've never really come across it before, but um, they do like to leave a sticker. It's kind of good really. I, in my humble opinion, based on the fact that if you want to get rid of them, a bit of steam and it's gone, no harm done, no, you know, lasting effect, but it's quite nice, you kind of just leave your, leave your mark. And there's all sorts on there. I like the uh, Inter Art, because they've got a band called Beat the Bishop. I bet they have a good ending, that's all I can say. Um, and generally, yeah, I like that. Mullet and moustache. Party in the back. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, they're, they're like a little storybook all on their own. I don't know, I thought I'd share that with you. Absolute beautiful smell. Well, I wish you smelled like that. But you don't. Anyway, afternoon van lifers. Um, we've just walked up there from the van, which is parked down there, because we're going to look at some views. And there's lots of eucalyptus trees here. 
And uh, I wish there was um, smell o vision but we can't obviously give you a taste or a smell of what we can smell, which is quite lovely, quite sweet, isn't it? Eucalyptus. Yeah. I mean, normally you just chew on them when you got a cold, didn't you? But the view, this is what we stopped for, is really quite special up here. I'd like to bring the van up here, but we'd probably get shot. But what a lovely place. Keep saying that. Anyway, further and beyond. Don't die. Maybe it got scared of you.
mushroom away. Oh! Yeah, well, the long version was all the way around over there. Is off road gizzy. She doesn't like the path. I leave you. Delete it. I mean it. Delete it. I still put the same clothes on that spot. Mm. Okay. Another day, another beach. Beach line. How far should we go? Only Mrs. Poppins knows. There we are, we're back. So we walked across the beach. There's a couple of walkers over there. <coughs> sea mist is still there. <coughs> but look what I found. It's a mother of pearl, but I've never seen one quite uh, well, I don't know if it, the capture the camera captures it probably but it really is quite beautiful. I shall take that back to the van and we'll keep that one. She's a keeper. Mrs. Poppins is trying to work out where we are. I think I think the only way is the back is the way we came. That's worst places. So it's good to see there's a school class down there picking up rubbish. And uh, yeah, we, we walked the other side, we picked up as well, so we joined in, which was good. And uh, but it's good to see the ocean needs to be cleaned, that's for sure. I see it. Can't you? Wow. From a distance you can see it. But... I don't need to do the sun tunes. So unfortunately, last night we had a bit of drama. 12 o'clock at night, sleeping away, knock on the window of the van. <coughs> it was a friendly policeman, although I won't emphasize it wasn't on the friendly side. He was right miserable, horrible little person. And I'll leave it at that. Anyway, I had to get he demanded my registration for the van, so got that out. Then demanded the passport and the driver license, so we, we gave it to him. And I said to the guy, I said, look, is there any drama? Oh, big problems, big problems. And uh, he said, uh, come to the car. So we went to the police car and he's got his little book out. 120 euro fine. Uh, for parking in an area of natural outstanding beauty and I said well that's fair enough but where's the signs and honestly there was no signage there's nothing to say you shouldn't be parking here and uh, 
I said, he said, I said, well, where do you park then? And he said, well, you park in the village. I said, yeah, but where do you park in the village? Because there won't be any signage there. You could come down in half an hour and give me another ticket. <coughs> anyway, as always, it's never wise to bitch and moan with the foreign bobbies. Because uh, you ain't going to win. I had similar drama in this year, earlier this year in Mexico. Got pulled over. And it's not corruption. But it is using, it's, it's basically taxing the tourists, I think. It's just, they must have booked seven vehicles last night, oh, so. This was more, I mean, what maybe it was more. I reckon it was where it was parked up there in our area. It well, was at least 20, I think. Anyway. It was 10 at least. If you think, that's an easy thousand euros. Paid wages all that night, and uh, so we're a bit wary now. We'll have to be. We've got no choice. Um, you know, you can park in little car parks, and what's that French place? Uh, another supermarket, but it's French-owned. I can't remember the name now. In Demarch, De that's it. Yeah, you can park there, but. Let that be a lesson. 100 quid it cost. 102 pounds. Mrs. Ale nearly had a heart attack. And she argued it. You know, my wife's not going to lie down and just give anyone money. But even she had to give in. There was no winners last night, I'm afraid. So let that be a lesson. Drama. Nearly got swept away, Mrs. Ale. Afternoon. It's Ali investigates. I've climbed up here. Wife's down there. Let's see what's around this corner. Well, that little peeler. A lovely little bay. There's even a rope there you could climb down with if you were absolutely bloody desperate. I can't say I'm that desperate. Oh, it's just look down there then. Have yourself a little barbecue. Morning van lifers, here's something for you. So the zone, no parking between 10 o'clock at night and 8 o'clock in the morning. And there must be 50 campers here. And there's probably more at night. Um, the only thing that would come of that is if, uh, you know, the worry is that the Guardia Seville come along and fucking find everyone. But could they really do that? There's just too many. Who knows? Who knows? So there's eight days left and I've got seven, seven gig of data left. So today is a no data day. What a fucking palaver. Right, allegedly, Europe starts here. I don't know if you can see that. Get a bit closer. But where will it end? This is the real question. Unbelievable. My wife, my wife has claimed to be a pensioner. And then, she, and then the girl said, what about your husband? Oh no, he's much younger than me. I mean, what a bloody show off. She did save a euro though. One euro fifty she saved. Oh, Not to be sniffed at. <laughs> <laughs>
Eve as well? Is that what you're saying? She asked me which year I was born. What did you say? I answered just like this. I'm good in maths. You wouldn't be able to, I know. I wouldn't be able to do that. No chance. That'd be a good view from up here. Wow. No, it is. Oh, I think this is. Very Algarvey. Da -da -da. Oh, look over there. What? You got cannons. Yeah. How exciting. I thought you knew. I didn't know that. They got proper cannons. Oh, I can't go and see the cannons. Yes. Well, let's walk around there. Right, how'd you get up there? Over there, Dad. These walls are thick, aren't they? Perfect for learning down there. There's the beast. She's down in the car park. There's Mrs. Hale. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Now we're talking. Look at these babies. Not so much that one. I think it was our better days anyway. Or even that one. But look at these. Do some proper damage with that. We might have to think about lowering the wall a little bit though. Quick clean out, and I'm sure that'd be fine. I'm starting to think that the trees were a bit of a bloodthirsty lot. <clears throat> Might have created a bit of damage. There's Mrs. Ale. Yeah, they are. So that is Mrs. Ale's pet hay. Dog poop. She hates it. But bizarrely, why would you put it on a bag and then leave it on the floor? This is where you come for a piss. And to be honest, it fucking smells like it as well. Oh. Google job smell of vision is not working on that one, I can tell you. Now that's a proper blowhole. Right, Mrs. A, I want you to go down there and investigate. The viewers demand to know what's down there, and I oh, think you sea. should go. Can hear the sea. Yeah, my telescopic doodars, not long enough. But yes. I've ever seen. What do you think? Yeah, but then there's nothing around. You're on. Well, I suppose the next is it's America. It's out there. That is the pond, as they call it. So that's it from us this week on The Beautiful Beast. Thank you for watching. Um, shame about the fine, 120 euros. Ooh, that hurt. Um, but there you go, that's life. That's all about traveling. Um, I'm sure there'll be other fines along the road as we travel. Um, if you've got time, could you please subscribe? means a world of difference to us and if you've enjoyed this episode give it the old thumbs up uh, it helps us get up the tree of life within the YouTube world and 
every little helps. Thank you very much. Have yeah. a good week. Till next week. Oh, we're in Sagres, but I think they know that. Okay. Anyway, no drama. Have a good day. Cheers.